Hello, I've created a small update for my base station FOV viewer tool. Um, before you start it up, make sure that Steam VR has fully started and um, all the lights are green on your base stations, especially, um, but you know, everything should be running. Uh, then just double click the executable to get it going. Once it starts up, you should be able to see all your base stations drawn where they are in your play space. Um, when you hit this button right here, which changes your base station version, um, it will also recalculate um, where your base stations are. So if one of them doesn't come in um, when it first starts up, which I have had one report of, um, this might be able to help with that situation. Um, but please don't move your base stations while they are running, um, as that could damage them. So we have um, the Valve 1.0 base stations, um, which have a FOV of 120 degrees um, that is conical. Um, we also have the 2.0 base stations by HTC specification, which are slightly lower FOV than they are by Valve specification. So they're both there as an option depending upon whose numbers you want to go on, but I think the hardware is pretty much the same either way. Um, these are drawn in a, a rectangular projection rather than um, conical because they have different values for their X and Y axis. Um, technically speaking, I think they're probably an elongated, um, like an elliptical cylinder that's being projected, but that's for a future update. Um, in addition to all that, you can toggle, uh, you have a chaperone override, so you can turn it off and it'll behave as the chaperone normally behaves, or you can turn it on just so you can see it all the time and have more reference as to where you are in your space. Um, in addition to all that, you can hit the A button to toggle which base stations are on. So either one, the other, none, or both. And this will work with, uh, with a range of one to four base stations. Um, and I think that's about it for this update. Um, thank you.